Hi, and welcome to another video. So, so far we've created our scene. However, we really want to start to add more detailed things just to make it that much more realistic. So looking at the scene itself, we already have elevation and imagery data. We've got vegetation. We've added buildings, uh, some using existing rule files, some using polygonal modeling and texturing, and then some using rule files we've created ourselves. The next step is to add all that extra detail. So here we can see very simply, I've added some walls, again, using polygonal modeling, and I've textured those with existing uh, brickwork. And then I've done the same for a bush and added a uh, hedge texture, again, from the Esri library. You can either download these images yourself from the internet, you could take them on a smartphone, or you can just uh, use the existing ones. However, what about all those other things such as uh, street signs, lampposts, telegraph poles, bins, skips, etc.? Well, you might have those in your Esri library. So if you go to esri.lib and you open up assets and we go down to web styles, uh, we'll have lots of different things we can use, models that have already been created and are stored within the software. If you don't have these, if you go file and manage Esri lib or update esri.lib, you can click on that and download all of these onto your system. So we've already used the vegetation one and that's what all the uh, plant loader and plant distributor rules reference. However, now we're gonna look at street scene. And if we come down to uh, overhanging street light, and now we can quickly go back to uh, Google Street View We'll notice there's a lamppost uh, just located here at the end of this wall on the road. So let's have a look at an overhang and street light. And we've got a few options. We've got on or off. I'm going to pick off. I'm going to drag that into the location. And there we go. I've got a street light. So I can move that into the correct location. If I want to turn it round and I'm getting really OCD because it's facing the wrong way, I can press that rotate button. And that's just moving in a single object. There's it gone? Get it back. Oh, there we go. So we can use the rotate tool and move tool to move those. Uh, so you can see if you've just got one object to move, probably the quickest way to do it would be just be to drag and drop a single object. And that's going to be fine if you've got one thing and you're doing a small target area like that. If you had lots and lots of items to add. For instance, you had some geodata, which was point data uh, of a point for everywhere within your uh, small area that you had street furniture. You might want to go ahead and create a rule file uh, that references all of this street furniture, just like we've seen the uh, plant loader rule file for vegetation. And I'll challenge you to make one of those. Uh, and I'm sure you could do that yourself. The way to do it would be to use an insert operation uh, from the CGA reference. So this is that CGA re reference we looked at in the CGA lesson. Uh, and down here you can see uh, this rule file is importing a head of a statue and it's using the head rule and then it's got the eye, the insert function. Uh, and here we've got the name of the object. Because this is an asset that has been used by this rule, you can just imagine at the top of this page you would have assets uh, asset equals and then the full file path of this just as you would uh, one of the textures in the building rule file we made in a previous video okay so that's how we import a single street object and really the best thing to do is just to have a look through all of these so you can see we've got things like uh, atm cash machine uh, fire hydrants a dumpster. There's a huge list of these uh, that have been created, US mailbox. And as you start to add them all in, uh, you will notice that they're all um, very American. So obviously this is an American piece of software. Uh, you've got lots of American vehicles, American street furniture. Uh, you haven't got any or much UK or European specific things. So if you were looking for, for instance, a red post box rather than a blue mailbox, then your best bet would either to be create one yourself or uh, go onto the internet and look at websites like 3D Warehouse. There you'll be able to download uh, things like that. 
get them from your downloads folder into your city engine project and then once they're in your city engine project folder you can just drag and drop them uh, in exactly the same way you would but when i'm teaching this to people i find uh, the best way to teach them this stuff is just to let them have a play with it just drag and drop these things in uh, and I'll find my students go off and they download TIE Fighters and Death Stars and get a bit geeky, Daleks, things like that. Um, but that's the best way someone can learn it. Just have a play with it. Pull all these things in, uh, crash some ships into each other, etc, etc. OK, so thanks for listening. Uh, that's how we drag all those extra objects and street uh, furniture into City Engine. Have a play with it and see you in the next video. Thanks for listening.